All right. So real quick, on the practice test, could you guys write down, basically I picked out four problems from the book and I forgot to put them on here. So from the review for chapter six, which for me is on page um, 671, uh, one through four. So it's just a collection of like some wordy problems, some table problems, right? Yeah, for me, it's, if you look on the uh, look online version, it's page 671. Sometimes some of these free textbooks, the printed, the look on the view online, and the PDFs have different page numbers, which is really exciting. Uh, but it's just the review section, review exercises for chapter six, one through four. So I'm going to have those on the answer key tomorrow. Okay. Okay. And you guys see how this is bait? This is the same as the practice quiz I gave you, right? But I just I have them, so I might as well give it to you. Um, all right. So real quick, the last little stuff from chapter six in seven minutes. So let's see. So we 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 sort of got a little bit into um, solving these equations. And I think I even got to the point where we had to use a logarithm to help us solve. Um, it's going to have to be a little more guided of a lecture here today. So let's see. So is it, this is still 6 one, Still 6-6, six, six, yeah. Because 6-7, I don't know if you guys remember, I made it extra credit. Yeah. Okay. So we did, we did problems like, um, let's see if you guys remember. I did a problem sort of like this, uh, 2x minus 1. Well, I didn't really actually, but it's sort of like this. I don't have to use logs for this because what can I do with the bases? Can I make them the same? Yeah. So this would be 3 to the x, and what's 9? 3 squared. Oops. What do you do with these? Good. So it'll be 3 to the 4x minus 2. Is that? Okay. If I can make the bases the same in an exponential equation, that's the easiest way to solve it. What's the only way that 3 to this power can equal 3 to this power? If these two powers are the same, does that make sense? So then I just get a nice, look at that. Now we're several chapters back, right? Subtract the x, add the 2. That's the way I do it anyway. I get 2 thirds. And then you can even check this in your calculator. You can do 3 to the 2 thirds, get some funky ass little decimal, and they do 9 to the 2 times 2 thirds. But I can get the same funky little decimal. You can check it. Okay, I like it. So if the bases can be made the same, hell yes. And then we did do one problem where I couldn't do that. So let's do another one. What if I have 5 to the x equals uh, 247? Do you know what 5 cubed is? Um, oh. 125. 125. Really quick, real quick. What's the main street road that gets us to Grossman? Isn't that the 125? Yeah. What's the street that goes this way? 8? The 8? Those are both cubes? Anyway, sorry. The life of a math teacher, so. It's really funky living here. Hey. Oh, well. I never go that way because it's not cube. I only travel on cube roads. Um, can I do the same thing we did here for this one? Hell no. Now, if you can, teach me. You'd have to know 5 to what power is 247. I don't know. Um, so what do we do then? What's the main problem with solving this equation is my variable is up here. Yes, and the one we normally use, and you could use whatever, but the two we would use would be the ones that are on the face of our calculator, right? Mm -hmm. I see log based on, I see log, and I see natural log. And why do you, and again, I told you guys this yesterday, but why do you think I, I and most math people normally use natural log? Because it has, it's one, because it's less letter. One less letter, good, <laughs> all right. Real quick, why do I take some kind of log of both sides? Because it's the only function where this power can do what? Come down. So didn't that, the whole problem with solving that equation for x is x is stuck in the power. So if I just had a way to get it out, and I do, 
Now that it took a log, the x can come down. And then I just have to divide both sides by natural log of 5. Remind yourself this is one number. These two are inextricably, inextricably intertwined. You can't break them. They're one number, so they have to hold, all go together. Can somebody do this in your calculator real quick? My guess would be 3. Point, oh, you don't know, Jeff. 3.3. 3. Sure. I don't know. It's probably higher than that. I always underestimate. Yes? Would you be able to um, do the natural log before doing the division if you wanted to be like, oh, it's blah, blah, blah? Oh. Like, could you do it before you I, do it? Let me see if this makes sense. Do not make these into decimals until you get here because you're going to approximate both of those, and when you divide, it's going to be even more off. Totally. Yeah. It's, it's on the uh, left side, above the on button, three point in that row there somewhere. Three one seven five four four two. RCA. All right. Oh, no, where's my? You got it. You got it. Everybody sees it. Uh -huh. Okay. And what do you get again? I'm sorry. Three point four two three one seven five four four. All right. All right. Four, four, so I'll tell you where to round yeah. to. Obviously, I'm not going to want to see eight freaking decimal places. So you guys with me? How did I know it was going to be a little more than 3? Because 5 cubed is 125, so 5 to the little more than 3 is a little more than 125. Yes? Sorry, do you mind saying again why you know it's natural log? Oh, I could use any log. We could even use log base 5, which would make sense. But do we have a log base 5 key? No. Nope. No. So I use a different log. I use and the log I have a key for. Yeah. And the natural log is what? What's what the natural the log? Yeah, what's it? What's the natural log? What's it stand for? Ten. Justice and equality. Huh? Ten. Ten. Not ten. No. What's what's the one that what's the what's the logarithm that's related to ten? It's um, um log. Log. <laughs> yeah. Just like square root, because that's the most used root. Log is log. base ten. Most used base log. for some reason. Log e. Yes, and I won't even say that. Log <laughs> natural log. I'll say this. It's base e. Sure. Log is base 10, understood to be base 10. Natural log is base E. It's just the symbol we chose to use instead of log E. So you could have... What was E? Exponent? So E, we talked about a couple of places where E came from, right? Before we talked about it. Remember how pi came from taking the circumference divided by the diameter of any circle? And you always get the same number, so it freaked people out in the past. E came from a few different places that I'm not going to redo right now. Well, I remember that. I okay. just, I, how do I know when I look at it and say, oh, that number, that's natural log? Okay, real quick. All right, all right. When I have this, real quick, let's do this. Everybody do this for me. I could have used any log, but the only two logs I have on the face of my cock there are ln and log, right? Mm -hmm. Let's solve this using log. The x comes down. Divide by log of 5. Is that cool? I'm just going to kind of skip a step here. Can you guys put that in your calculator, please? Of course it's the same. So you could have done either before. Total. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Right? I mean, let me see if you guys get this. So I guess just depends on the situation then? If I had a, and you might have this, I'm just not going to tell you where it is. If I had a log base whatever I want, and this is a problem that was on the quiz. Can you rewrite this in logarithmic form? What's the base? Five. What goes in here? Uh, two, oh, two point seven. If I had a log base 5 button, can I just put this in? Uh -huh. But we don't. There is. There is. I, all right. You know where it is. Great. Yeah. Yeah, there is. Really? There is, yeah. There is. I'll, I'll show you after class. Never mind. All right. I'm going to make you put a little bit of work into it. At least find somebody else who knows where it is. Do we even need it, though? Did we need it? Did we yeah. get the answer? We got the answer two freaking yeah. ways without yeah. knowing where the button was. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, for the first one, I get 3x. Where are we looking? Over here? How did I get? Oh, the two equals three x. Oh, uh, subtract x, add two. Yeah, or you could subtract four x and divide by negative three, and the negatives would cancel. Either way, yeah. I do that part real quick because I know you all could do that. Okay. Um, 
All right, one last thing, and we're, we're basically out of time. So what, what I'm going to have to do for the test, we'll do one more problem. I am going to officially make 6-6 six, six homework not due on Thursday. I will have, like, maybe one problem like this. You with me? Just to show you where 6-6 six, six goes, so we'll have to kind of finish 6-6 six, six out after this test. Um, just to show you where it goes. Um, we have logarithmic equations. I'll do two more examples. Do I have, I have no time, so it doesn't matter, Jeff. This one is an easy one. We've done this one before. Does anyone remember how to solve this? Yeah. Four? Take the four uh, squared, squared, and then it equals x. So I know x is 16, right? You with me? Mm -hmm. Now, real quick, real quick. I know I'm over time, and I'm always over time, and I'm very, very sorry. Um, uh, it'd be great if you can get something that works, Jeff. We'll see what happens. Okay. Can you see the main difference between these two? What's the main difference between these two equations? Um, this one's got. It's subtracting. This one's got two logs, right? Can I make this a single? Can I make this a single logarithm? Yeah, because this is the same base. Beautiful. So then it would be x over x plus one. Then I can do three. That's a three down there. Squared. Squared equals x. x over x plus one. So I get nine, hold on, equals x over x plus one. I multiply this up. I'm doing this a little fast, but that's all right. And I solve for x, correct? I mean, that's one thing, though. If I solve this for x, subtract x, subtract nine, I'll actually get negative nine eighths. And that's, yeah. Can a logarithm have a negative inside of it? No, real quick, remember, what's a logarithm look like? Here's an exponential, so a log looks like this. Do you see how it can't have negative inputs? Yeah. Okay, so just like when we had square root problems, we had to make sure that the answer didn't freak it out. This answer would freak that out, no solution. Okay. Now again, I'm not gonna put a problem like on the test. I'm so, I just wanted to show you where we were headed. And this is an immediate place we apply the properties of logarithms, is to solve this kind of equation. Yeah. What do you do when you subtract two logs? When do I subtract? When I, I subtract powers when I'm dividing uh -huh. the things. Okay, got it. Cool. So remember, you remember properties of logarithms by just remember properties of powers. Right, right. Yeah. And then uh, how come you're allowed to just move the x up to the 9? Because I wanted to. No, because <laughs> Did you, um, cause I'm the teacher and I could do it. Real quick, when I multiply, I could multiply both sides oh, by x plus 1? Okay. Yeah. So I didn't really move it. It just looked like it did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then I get a beautiful little mm -hmm. chapter one equation. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. That's plenty. I'll have the quiz graded tomorrow. I'll have the answer key for the practice test. Yes. Um, 